placement of Foley catheter at the beginning of the case is recommended in Vinod's um, cases. Aside from general principle of keeping the bladder deflated and away from the surgical field, in v notes, a bladder that is not fully drained will obscure the field of view anteriorly. In cases where a full bladder is of significance, a ring can be removed, patient placed in reverse Chandelberg, bladder drained, and then the case can continue. Laparoscopic suction is not needed in V-notes cases. If bleeding occurs, especially back bleeding from the uterus, blood typically pools in the posterior cul-de-sac. This pooling usually does not obscure surgical site, unlike in transabdominal route. However, if the suction is needed, a Yankauer suction used in vaginal and open cases is introduced through one of the ports, while suction tubing is clamped to avoid loss of pneumoperitoneum. Once the tip is in the intended location, suction is then intermittently clamped and unclamped to suction the blood while avoiding the loss of pneumoperitoneum. Alternatively, gel seal cap can be removed, Yankara suction used to suction the field, and the gel cap is placed back on to continue the case. The outer portion of the Lexus retractor connected to the gel cap can be used as a pouch for storage. For example, to save time, the tube has not to be, does not have to be removed from the ports and the gel cap does not have to be reassembled. Instead, the tube can be kept in the pouch until the procedure is complete and the entire specimen is removed. Many surgeons place laparotomy pads in all of their cases routinely, which makes it easier to remember to remove the laparotomy pad in the end of the case. In cases where there's not enough space in the pelvis due to a large fibroid uterus, a 4x4 can be used. Some surgeons will tag the 4x4 with a suture and leave that suture connected to a hemostat externally. This eliminates the risk of losing a 4x4 in the mid and upper abdomen.